Police saw a much calmer evening following a violent night in downtown Minneapolis. A shooting left six people injured near Target Center yesterday morning. It happened just after bar close with many bystanders in the area. Rachel Slavic joins us from the newsroom. And Rachel, have police made any arrests? They have, as may several officers were nearby. They heard those gunshots and quickly arrived to the scene. Police arrested three people and recovered two guns. Still, it left those who were in the area a little shaken up. Happy Boyce was leaving a pizza restaurant near Hennepin and Fifth Street around 2:30 yesterday morning. She heard several gunshots and dropped to the ground. Abby wasn't hurt, but a guy next to her was shot in the foot. One of six injured in this incident. Police say an altercation escalated into a gunfight. This despite a heavy police presence in the area. You know, there's always police around, and you always feel safe with them around. Um, so never would you expect that. Um, it was weird, though, because when we were walking out, and it seemed very chaotic, but we just thought, bar closed, it's crazy, let's get out of here. Now, those overnight shootings prompted the Minneapolis police chief and mayor to release a joint statement. They praised the quick arrest by police officers and acknowledged more needs to be done to stop the gun violence. All of those injured, by the way, are expected to survive. Well, Rachel, that is right by a police precinct as well. I mean, what can they do to prevent this, even with all those police in the area? Right. Councilman Jacob Fry plans to bring up this issue in an upcoming public safety meeting, but he believes more cops on the streets is not the answer. He thinks local businesses, city leaders, and police will need to work together on this is issue. All right, Rachel Slavic, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.